Good morning. Happy Monday. We are back home in the office getting ready to launch something big, even though I just got off something that was really big that we launched. Um, for those of you that don't know, I was able to take my family on a cruise this last week and it took a few days to get my sea legs. And now it's taking me, <laughs> oh, it's going to take me a few days to get my land legs. My gosh, like the room is still floating and I didn't sleep last night. I don't know if it's because of daylight savings or just because I was rocking so much, but, um, that's all right. It comes with the territory and it was worth it. So as you're hopping on, say good morning, say good afternoon, say good evening. Whenever you're watching the replay, I know this time isn't ideal for most people to hop on, but it's the time that works for me. So we're going live and I still want to connect with you guys. So I want to tell you a little bit about our cruise and then tell you how I am going to be finishing off this 2023 year and launching into 2024 because, um, there are some really exciting things going on. So, um, um, if you've ever been on a cruise before, tell me where you went, how long um, it was, and just your experience, because this is going to be my second cruise. So um, my very first cruise I earned with my first company, and um, we went to, oh, I don't even remember where we went to because um, there was hurricanes, so we didn't even get to get off the ship, and um, we had to cancel some of our ports. So I can't even remember, but I just remember like, I was sick on there, so I was a little bit hesitant going on this one, but I got those little stickers put behind my ears. Um, I had Dramamine, and so I was gonna, I was gonna do it. It was gonna be fine. Plus, it was my kid's first one. And um, so we went down to Cozumel. We we drove down to Salt Lake on Halloween night, and then we woke up really early to catch our flight. Um, we had a direct flight from Salt Lake all the way to Galveston, Texas, where a shuttle picked us up, took us to the cruise ship. We got right on and it was just completely seamless. Now, um, my kids didn't know what to expect being on a cruise ship. Um, so when we got to our rooms, they were so excited. We had one of the balcony rooms. We had just opened up the back door and we looked out and there were dolphins all in our harbor jumping around. So it was just fun to watch them. And then, um, we went up to dinner and unlimited food. I mean, the kids were just in heaven. They could have their chicken and French fries. They could have a little spot of mashed potatoes. They could have a salad, um, unlimited dessert, ice cream. Like they were just in love. Good morning, Stacy. And, um, if you ask them what their favorite part of the trip was, they will tell you that it was the food, which I think that most people go on cruises because the food is just amazing and everything's free. So it's just, it's just, it's so fun. Um, so anyway, we spent the first day just kind of exploring the cruise ship and this cruise ship was huge. Like I, I can't even believe all the different things that they had on it. So we went up to the very top and they had this ride called the black abyss where you get in kind of like a sleeping bag carpet type deal. And then like you spin around and you get down to the bottom and, um, it takes you from floor, the very top 16 down to floor six. So really fun. The kids love that. Paisley actually was in tears the first time. She was so scared because she had to go by herself. And um, then after the first try, she's like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. And then her and Beckham were just doing it on their own. And me and Derek would walk them to the top. And then we would um, take the elevator to the bottom and meet them down at the bottom. So that was really fun. Um, and then we just explored the different rooms. So they had tons of shows that you could reserve. Um, we did an 18 or older comedian show the first night, um, just left the kids in the room. It was a 10 o'clock show. So it was kind of late. So we, um, went and did that the first night, which was, which was fun. I mean, me and Derek, we like comedians, but we also like it clean, you know? And so, um, when there's a lot of cussing or, um, just like, vulgar stuff. Sometimes that's not fun, but luckily they, they were not bad. I mean, there was just a few spots. So, um, that was fun. And then day two, we, um, you know, we spent time walking around the ship. It was very windy. The kids did try to get in the pool and they had this really fun, like kids play area with slides and different things that they could spray and like sit on and get wet. And so that was fun. And then they had, um, two, actually three slides that were, I think, I think the longest slides that a cruise has for a water slide, but, um, they had two that were just like a black abyss almost. And so you just go down and come out the bottom. And then they had another one that would like put you in this drain that would spin you around until you came out the bottom. And, um, 
Paisley went on that one a few times and she loved it. So um, we got to spend a little bit of time, but like I said, it was windy. It was a little bit cold. So um, we spent most of our time inside and they had a carousel around there. They had a garden that you could walk through. Like the whole level was just like luscious plants and just like a, a garden to walk through. It was really cool. Um, and then they had different theater rooms. So they had a, a play, which was in the Royal the Royal room. I can't remember like the Royal ballroom or the, I don't know the Royal room. And we watched grease lightning, which was just phenomenal. Um, I don't know how these people can sing and dance on a ship that's like swaying back and forth. Um, so we went and saw grease, which was really fun. We saw an ice skating show. So there was an ice skating rink in there and that ice skating show was just phenomenal. Um, the water show. I don't know if you guys caught that. My stories was insane literally insane the fact that they can do these things in general but then do them on a boat um it had like synchronized swimming in it it had people jumping off of high places it had like music and beats with the music and um i mean just incredible um and then there was family game shows plus the extra stuff that our company put on um scavenger hunt we had a pickleball tournament there was ping pong tables the kids um got to do drop-in soccer with kids their age so they did that two days and loved it um on our beach day or excursion day we ended up going to um playa de la carmen or playa del carmen that's what it's called and um we had to take so this, this, this is something we definitely would have done different is, um, we got off the ship. Like we had to get off at like seven 30 and then we, we didn't know this when we booked it. So, so definitely something to read, but we, um, had to ride a ferry from Cozumel, Mexico, all the way to the, um, Playa del Carmen. And so that was like an hour ferry ride across and Beckham was just so sick and Beckham usually doesn't get sick. Luckily I like stocked up on the drama mean. So I was just sleeping and I was fine, but, um, it was, it was an hour ferry ride over. And then when we landed at that beach, then we had to walk to a shuttle bus and we had to drive for two hours, but we got to the, um, ruins. We went and saw the Chichen Itza, um, pyramids ruins. And there were so many of them in it. It was really cool and um it just blows my mind like living in a time age like that like how crazy would that be you know i think that we're all born in our certain times for a reason and i'm going to tell you like i could never last in like pilgrim times or like aztec times um it'll be really hard but it was just really cool to like see what they had created and of course there's all the shops everywhere and everyone trying to get you to to buy things and it did downpour rain on us for about 15 minutes and Derek just looked like a little wet mouse with his white t-shirt on and just drenched we got the kids ponchos but um we just stuck it out and then the sun came out and you know it dried up all the rain and uh that it was a nice it was a nice time so then we rode our two hour shuttle back to the ferry and then coming back the wind had just picked up and these waves like we were literally like oh the i mean people were puking in bags and um it was intense definitely something we're not going to forget because um it was scary <laughs> But they were like, we've been in worse. We're fine. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is getting me off this ship. So anyway, so then um, we went back to the ship um, yesterday or the day before yesterday. I don't even know what day it was. But um, the last full day that we had out on the water was just like sunny and warm. And so we just laid out on chairs. The kids did the flow rider. We drank a lot of smoothies and ate a lot of food and just like enjoyed our time there which was really nice and for me i needed that like disconnect i needed that like um just being fully present with my family yes i did a little bit of work here and there and um you know i, I shared some posts and some story slides as far as like what was going on because i wanted to let you guys see too but um it was just nice to be there and be there around like-minded people and you know i've been in this industry almost 10 years now which is crazy back back and forth turns 10 tomorrow and I started this when um he was one and Paisley wasn't even born and um you know with my last company grateful for the experience um things just changed and it wasn't a good fit for me anymore I didn't feel aligned I didn't feel like I could um stand behind the choices that they were making with the new CEO that came in and you know since then they've got another new CEO and, and things are going great but um I'm grateful for the experience because it led me here 
And what I love about social retail, um, first off, I love the fact that, that, um, I was able to bring my family on this trip and that family is first and having a company that puts family first is really, really important to me. Now, my last company, um, it, it did put family first, but when it came to earning things, it was just for you and your spouse. And so I absolutely love that all of the trips and their yearly escape trips that we can earn um, being social marketers is that it, they are available for my whole entire family. And so, you know, I no longer have to wonder like, where are we going to go on a family vacation? Like, well, the company's going to announce it and I'm going to earn it and things are going to be paid for. And we'll have to pay a little bit out of pocket to bring the kids, but it's well worth it because we get to be together. And, um, it's way, way, way less expensive than it would be if we were paying for the whole thing on our own. And so, um, I'm just, I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful to have, um, health and wellness products, not just for weight loss, but just like to help me feel good. Um, I just washed my hair with our new, um, cell proof hair bond shampoo and conditioner. And like from the very first wash, like I can just tell a difference. Like I didn't have to try to, um, get all the tangles. Like it was like tangle free and, um, it's not as frizzy as it normally is. And I know the more that I use it, the better it's going to be. And then I use the skincare this morning. I put on my moisturizer, my serum, um, before I did my makeup and that's helping me stay young. I've got my collagen. We have our household cleaning products. You know, Derek's going to be doing the laundry today. So he's going to be using our laundry detergent and fabric softener. So I just love having a product line. Oh, and I can't even forget about the, the hormone, the women's health product that we have for balancing hormones. Oh my gosh. Like how did I ever survive without it? Um, and so I just love having products that I personally can stand behind and use on a daily basis that really fit my lifestyle. Um, I love, I was thinking about this actually while I was in the shower and, um, there are other products that I love, but it just kind of stinks when, you know, you, you, you get somebody or you like, you know, you, you tell somebody about it and then, then you don't get a kickback for it. And so I love that our customer program, like you don't have to sign up to be a social marketer. You could just be a customer. But then if you share that with anybody, like you get the referral credits, you get the extra bonuses without even having to sign up to be a social marketer. And so I love the, just the customer program that they have. And as long, and as well as the, the social marketer program, because at my last company, and I'm, I mean, if you guys are in a company, like drop a one, drop a one in the comments, because, um, before the only way you could get to the top is if you built a team and I, I enjoy building a team. I enjoy helping people be able to make money, but it was, it's, it's really hard when you build up to a certain level and then people decide to quit and then you got to replace them. You got to replace them. You got to replace them. And it just felt like I was always plugging holes in my ship and they're like, well, don't plug holes, just build new. Well, then that's, that's like so much work. And yes, you do want to build new, but like, it just was a huge juggling act that caused a lot of stress. And, um, I wanted to be able to help people that wanted to do it, not feel like I had to talk them into it so that I could keep mine. And so I really love our setup that we have here, that we have a builder side. If you want to build a team, you can do that. You'll get bonuses, you'll get paid commissions. Um, and you can do that. And it doesn't take nearly as many people as it did. Like they keep it very, very simple. And just a few people can really help you go far. And then they also have the promoter side where if you just want to focus on products and you just want to focus on your customers, um, then you can do that. You know, and I've already started my wall up here. Um, I need to need to add, add the next few to it. But, you know, just like really celebrating my customers, making sure that they have a positive experience and um, getting them the best deal. And we have some holiday deals that are coming up, which I'm really excited about to share those with you guys. And, and so anyway, um, I chose this company number one, because of the products number two, because of the business model, it's kept me here because of the family first atmosphere that it has. And just the simplicity of it all, having leaders who are actually in the trenches working with us that aren't just sitting at the top, collecting a paycheck, um, having them use their skills and expertise. And, um, you know, I, I joined with a multimillionaire and she teaches me how to do funnels. She teaches me how to brand myself, that I'm not just my company, that I am me and the skills and talents that I have to offer. And so, you know, I get to, um, I'm going to, I'm in the process of starting to create, um, math courses online and um you know i've created a get fit program and i've got my get fit club and my and my personal training and what i've been able to do to incorporate that and i just think none of that would have happened if 
I wouldn't have taken that leap of faith on myself. And when I first started this business, I had 200 friends on Facebook, 200 friends, like that's it. Now I've got over like 20,000 followers, 5,000 friends. I've got an Instagram. I've got a TikTok. I've got a YouTube channel. And like, you just never know what's going to happen when you take that leap of faith. And I know that so many people are afraid to, to, to sell. They're like, well, I'm not a salesperson. I don't know very many people. Nobody's going to buy from me. We all feel that way, but people are buying every single day and complete strangers sign up to buy from me. Um, complete strangers become my best friends and join my team because I was willing to put myself out there. And so you just really know, never know the lives that you'll change and the impact you'll have unless if you take that leap of faith yourself. And so why is now the best time to start and get on this ship with me, if you will, um, to cruise through the rest of 2023 and work our way launching into 2024. Okay. So, um, number one, I like to build my business event to event. So we just got home from the cruise last night. Um, or I guess I should say this morning, cause we pulled in after midnight and, um, my kids and me, we cannot wait until the next one. And the next trip is going to be announced most likely at our conference in January. And conference in January is in Long Beach, California. So I get to go to Long Beach, California in a few months. Um, and then I'm sure they're going to tell us what our next escape trip is. And then we're going to have from usually it's about February, March to August to earn it. And then we go in the, in the fall again. And, um, and I want that. I want that for myself. I want that for my team. And so now is the best time because we have these holiday sales that are coming up. Um, in fact, they're going to get, they're going to get launched next week, a week from today, holiday sales are coming up. So getting in now, I'll be able to take you through your training, teach you everything you need to know. We'll be able to get some, um, potentials in your pipeline and, um, then you'll be able to just boom your business now, get your customer pod, get your team set up if that's the if that's the route that you want to go. Um, unlock some really serious bonuses. And I created this game plan for my team and for you when you join it um, of exactly what we need to do. And so like I'm using this starting today, I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then um, we have the We Are Modere $300 bonus. And that's for anybody who goes platinum one. Okay. Um, you're going to get an extra $300 bonus on top of the daily pay that we get because we get paid twice daily. So whenever you enroll a customer, then you're going to get paid on that that day or within the next 12 hours, depending on when you sign them. Um, and so you'll get the commissions on that. Plus you'll get $200 in product credit. So you're not even going to have to use your own money to pay for whatever products you want moving forward. And you're going to get the $300 We Are Modere bonus. And you can earn this in November and you can earn it in December. And I just think, oh my gosh, like you're going to have with when, when you finish all this, you'll have an extra thousand dollars in November and a thousand dollars in December to use towards Christmas. And that would be huge for so many people. And it's so simple. It's so simple. And I just have the, the little boxes that you check here for each customer that you get. Um, and then I want to help everybody go what's called team leader. Um, and I have a special gift for everybody who goes team leader for everyone on my team that's existing now and everyone who does join. And I'm, you know, I went team leader within a few weeks when I started this company because I was just on fire. I was excited. Um, I did have a contact base that I had built up through my last company. So I know that that helped, but I've had other people on my team who have done it within their first month or within their first two months and make it happen. And so um, I have the game plan right here, exactly what to do. And, um, then moving into, so to finish out the 2023, I'm going to get people going platinum one team leader, and then that's going to get us going into conference. And everybody is always new year, new me at the very beginning of the year, you know, wanting to get their health on track, wanting to get their wealth on track. And so that's always a great big boom to start us off in the 2024 year. Then we'll go into conference, which is just light a fire under our butt. Then we'll be able to get the escape trip and start working towards that. And it's just the perfect time. And I know that people are like, well, it's holidays and we're busy. I'm busy too. In case you don't know, I went back into teaching. I'm a full-time teacher now. Um, my kids are in sports like crazy. Um, I'm running this, this full-time business here and I'm creating other courses and doing other things like anybody can do this and you can use it as an excuse or you can use it as a reason to fuel what you want to do and what your why is and what your goals are. And I know for me, 
Um, I want to be able to make more than my husband again um, with my side income and then just be able to do the things that we want to do. And um, I know through this business model and through this company that I can make it happen. And I know personally that I can help you make it happen too, because teaching is the love of my life. I love teaching. I love creating systems. I love creating simple game plans to help regular people succeed. And I know I can help you too. So I didn't want to make this too long, but I appreciate you guys being here. Make sure to say hello. Um, and if you have any questions about what this is or, um, want to just go ahead and get started, either drop start in the comments below or it should be a personal message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Okay. Have an amazing day and week and we will talk to you later. Bye.